quick one. It allows you to prepend your results with anything you want. So in other words, if you wanted to ask GPT-3 something, but tag it every single time with like hashtag GPT-3, do that. Here's how it works. Go in here, come plugins, go to GPT-3 OpenAI, scroll down and look here at inject prefix. I'm just going to put here, put a double bracket, double bracket, GPT-3. And that way, anything that comes back to us from GPT-3 is going to get tagged GPT-3. Let's check that out. Let's make it work. Here we go. Okay. This is a test. Okay, here we go. This is a test at 6.49 p.m. You want to see a cooking show? Let's ask GPT-3 what its favorite cooking show is. What do you say? Come here. We're not on camera. It's okay. What is your favorite? What do you say? Recipe, maybe? Cooking show. Just cooking show. On YouTube? YouTube. I, I, I don't have any idea if it knows how to do that. On YouTube. Okay. So, what is your favorite cooking show on YouTube? by Landon. We take slash G P T and we'll do a block, hit enter and check it out. Everything comes back tagged with this lovely little prepend. That's super interesting because now if let's say we do it again, let's do it again, Landon. What do you think? How about tell me a little story about a man named Jed. A poor Jeb. mountaineer who barely kept his family fed. Let's try that. What do you say? Yeah. yeah? All right. Did it. And there we go. Look at this. We've got an entire story about Jed. But most importantly, everything is prepended with GPT-3. So now when we click gpt3 we are going to see all the things that gpt3 ever sent back to us in this case from the davinci 003 model yay that is awesome i have to go watch a cooking show with my six-year-old he's very persistent and i like that about him <laughs> all right until next time